Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, nice Sal. I'm bring you guys another tutorial video here. I'm going to show you guys how to successfully set up Recast or Ryancast, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and get it to work. So, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to like Google Play or whatever you use. Of course, this is for the Android version, and you're going to want to download Recast. And then you're also going to want to download I'm just going to want to download this. I'll show it to you when it shows up. Then you're going to want to put ES file. You're going to want to get this. There's technically there's a lot of them that could work, but this one technically would be the best. Don't you know, I don't have this installed, so this is going to be a really bad one. So, And then what you want to do is you're going to want to come to Google and look up Dreamcast BIOS. And so, yeah, you want to go to download Dreamcast. You tell you, basically just best to go to Love Roms. There's plenty of them, but this is like the first place, and it'll probably be faster. And you're going to really want to download this one here, the Android one with the recast. So once you do that, you would open ES File Manager. In this case, I'm going to go here. And you would download the... Uh, okay, so in this part, I would basically... The best thing I can tell you is to listen closely. And so basically, you would come here, and so on there, by the you find the Dreamcast BIOS under your downloads, and you would, you would basically, you would like hold it down and highlight it, and then hit extract to, and then you would hit OK, wait for it to extract, and then you would go into the folder and find, you would find these DC underscore boot dot bin and DC underscore flash dot bin. So what you would do is you would. Highlight one of them, you'd hold down on one of them and hit copy to, and then basically, first things first, I should have said before that, you need to create a uh, a folder for this. You can call it Dream, Dreamcast, DC, as long as you, you can call it anything you want, as long as you remember what it's called, and you would copy both of them into the folder. Then what you would do is that you would go to Recast, and then go to Paths, and then browse and then go and like basically whatever you called it, you sit it there and select hit select current folder. So like this, what you would do is you would go to Dream. You would go to that. And then there you go. And then that's down foot. So look at that. So, oh wait, we're not at that part yet. So now that you've got that down put, and now that you've got that in place, the next thing on the list is now you would actually need to get some games. As you know, if a uh, emulator actually came with any games, you know, that would be highly illegal. So basically, so then you basically go on the web and search for any games. Of course, you saw I only have Sonic Adventure. You can get Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure. You can get Sonic Shuffle, which probably wouldn't get Sonic Shuffle from because I haven't played it. But when I heard that game was god awful, 
you know, Marvel's Capcom 2, it, it should move power, it doesn't matter. You can basically just go find any games. But uh, once you do that, first things first is you got to make sure to like that uh, you must set up a path for the games. That storage path right here is basically because the emulator needs to know exactly where you put your game in order to play it. So you need to you need, need to place no play. So basically, it's in your download section. Right there. So basically, you need to go get that set up, and uh, once you do, you are ready to play. Hit the game directory in your right place, and uh, your game should will appear on screen. And I just select it. Oh, one last thing right quick. So, I, uh, I, I actually for, almost forgot to mention this. So, yeah, there's a certain thing you have to do if you want, if you want your games to like, save your progress. So, also, yeah, this is going to be very loud. So, it was loud. Wait. So, first things first, when you get the BIOS right, it should be able to boot up in this. And so, then what you're going to do, you're going to want to go to File. And both memory cards, since I have them set up, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to come, like, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to select it and hit delete all on not only this one, but both of those. And that way you will be able to save your progress. If you do not do that, your game will not save any progress. So, of course, you ever want to get out, just hit your back button and then hit the X button and you will exit out. And also, one thing, though, when you're playing your games on recast, if you exit, go to something that you get, it'll totally, it'll bring you back to this screen. So, I don't know if that's a problem or if it's supposed to do that, but it does that. So, uh, yeah, make sure you're, uh, you're at a saving point, you're saved or where you want to be for, uh, you know, for you to, for you exit out. But anyways, after that, then you can open it up. And then just, yeah, I'm gonna do a let's play this game. Just to let you know the controls are not that good. I um just struggle as with mo. But hey, it's an emulator game. It's on the screen. If I had like a, a controller I could hook up, I'd probably be really freaking good. I wonder how much. So yeah. Of course, you know this is like maybe my second U tutorial video. The first one was Sonic CD, which unfortunately they don't took off for that. So um, this is how you successfully set up. Reamcast, Rycast, or whatever you call it. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you a little bit of gameplay. See how guys bad, how bad I really am with, with these controls. Look how long it took me to clear these stages. Like seriously, well, Casino Opolis would have took me a long time anyway, so... I remember back when I had this on the Xbox, I actually managed to get, like, all the emblems for Sonic. Like, I was really good until I lost it, so... This is the main reason why I got this. I'm gonna play Speed Highway. These controls are so freaking bad, dude.
So you all basically just saw what happened right there. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. So if you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. If this video was huge help, make sure to, to let me know in the comments below. If it was not a hell, also make sure to let me know and I will see what I missed or if I missed anything and I'll make another video. But anyways, until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, guys.